All right, so this may just be the AppSumo deal of the year. Hey guys, John here from IncomeMesh.com. And as you guys well know, I'm a big fan of Breezy. And what do you know? Breezy has popped up on AppSumo as a lifetime deal. And this deal requires a lot of explanation because this is probably the most complicated deal that's out there right now. So why is this so complicated? Well, it's because Breezy is not just one tool. It's actually two separate tools. And there is the WordPress plugin, which is what I've done a lot of my tutorials on. You can check here on the channel. There's also the Breezy Cloud. And I think I've only done one video on the Breezy Cloud, and this one is going to be a full refresh of it. So the lifetime deal that's available on AppSumo right now is for the Breezy Cloud version and if you go to breezy's actual website they have a lifetime deal for the plugin as well it's confusing let's walk through the differences right here so as we look here if you go to incomemesh.com let's do that incomemesh.com slash breezy cloud that'll take you to the current app sumo deal and as we get here you'll see that breezy it looks like it's all the same thing that we've always talked about the breezy plugin the difference here as we scroll down to the details this actually gives you a hosted solution. So the difference between hosted and self-hosted is that you don't need to go through Bluehost or SiteGround or any of those uh, web hosts to launch your website. This makes it very, very fast and easy to get a new website up and running without having to go through the process of buying your hosting and installing WordPress and all of that. Now, does this mean you don't need WordPress anymore? No. Breezy Cloud has a very specific use case, and I'll walk through some of that here in this video. Primarily, if you have a new client that just wants a very basic, pretty, fast, and low-to-maintain website that's you know just there to collect leads and maybe send some emails to and things like that, Breezy Cloud is going to be perfect. If you're a funnel builder and you want to help run ads for people and you don't want to spend $200, $300 a month on ClickFunnels and some of the other hosted solutions out there, this is going to be an incredibly competitive funnel builder that's going to really compete with the big dogs out there over time. And if you have a website where you have a lot of functionality and your website is kind of bogged down because of WordPress and WooCommerce and some other functionality that's there, having the ability to do subdomains with this Breezy Cloud means you could create your own separate funnel building platform that's outside of WordPress that will load in a snap. And in this video, we'll build a couple of those types of use cases out and I'll show you some speed tests between the Breezy Cloud and a Breezy hosted solution that's hosted on your own WordPress website and show you the difference in performance, okay? So let's just take a look at what the difference are between these deals. So it looks like every single time you stack on a new code, you get three new hosted domains, and that is for unlimited hosting for those three, as many pages as you want to within those three domains that you hook up to. What this also means is if you only have maybe maximum five clients at a time, you could get that double stack and be able to work with a client until they're done with you or you, know, you part ways and go separate ways and then you can export their content and give them their content and then free up that domain space and reuse it over time so this is a pretty useful plugin to get even if you don't have a specific use case for it yet there's a lot of benefits here now what makes this deal even more confusing is that if you buy this lifetime deal which is for the hosted breezy cloud version you also still get access to the WordPress plugin for one, two, three, as many websites as you stack codes onto. So that means you also have lifetime access to the breezy WordPress page builder for life. This is a little bit confusing, right? Because now the, the cloud deal also has access to the WordPress deal. And if we go here to incomemesh.com slash breezy, which is their normal uh, sales page, and we come to the pro option here, you'll see they also have a $300 one-time a fee which is for unlimited use of the wordpress plugin plus access to the the cloud studio like i love breezy this is way too confusing it's too confusing of a deal at the end of this video stick around to the end i'll tell you which deal is right for you depending on your specific use case okay so stick around till the end Okay, so because I am a lifetime access owner at this level, I have unlimited access to the WordPress plugin and the cloud. And so I want to log into my cloud account to show you what this looks like. So here's kind of the dashboard of the Breezy cloud. And in this tutorial, what I want to do is set up a business type of website and show you just how kind of fun and fluid it is to use the Breezy cloud. So you don't have to deal with the WordPress admin dashboard at all, which is kind of a breath of fresh air. I'm going to come in here and make a new website. And this is what you would have access to through the AppSumo deal. Okay, so I've just made a new website. They're just called projects to begin with. So let's go into project number four and just edit that project. 
Okay, and we load up directly into the Breezy Builder. There is no WordPress to deal with, but there is still a lot of functionality that makes it like a full website. They've just released two new big features into the Breezy Cloud. One feature is multi-page websites, and the second feature is all the external integrations with services like ConvertKit and MailChimp and MailerLite and all of that good stuff. So let's go ahead and just build out a, a professional looking website together here. So we'll come here to the settings gear, and this is gonna open up kind of the project wide settings. This is the closest thing you're gonna to get to like a WordPress admin type of dashboard. So let's add a few pages. We have a home page. Let's add page number two and we'll edit that page. Let's go ahead and edit that page here with the settings here and just call this about and make it about. And you'll see we haven't hooked up the domain yet. We'll do that towards the end, uh, but it's very easy just to go ahead and start working and not worry about all the annoying hosting DNS server type stuff that tends to bog us down in the beginnings of a project. Okay, home about. Let's make another one here for services all right save that one and we'll do one more for contact because i want to show you that integrate the form integrations as well come here settings and we'll do services or contact and also you notice here they have seo meta descriptions i'm skipping over that for the, the purpose of this tutorial but these are important so if you want to have any sort of seo benefits you should fill out all the opportunities here for seo so i'll hit save and then you can also see here for site settings, you can give site titles, site descriptions, site favicons, all the things that you'd be used to seeing inside of the WordPress customizer, you can get here as well without any of that difficulty. You also have the ability here to add headers and footers across your entire project. So this is perfect for things like Google Tag Manager or the Facebook Pixel or Google Analytics, any of those types of things that you might be using plugins for to track on your WordPress site, you can do this very easily here with code injection. I would recommend Google Tag Manager across all of those personally. So we'll save those changes. And now let's come back through and let's also create a menu while we're here. So we're gonna create a new menu and we'll call this menu main menu. Let's hit that plus button. And now we have a new main menu. We'll click on it and we can see we have no menu items. So let me go ahead and just add the home, the about, the services and the contact directly over to that menu. Boom, how easy is that? Isn't that fun? You can also kind of drag them around, readjust them as you want to. We'll go ahead and save those changes here. Okay, so already within just like a minute or two of working here, we have the kind of the structure of the website already set up. So let's go into our homepage and just build out a couple home pages using that new block kit that has just been introduced into uh, Brizzy. All right, so I'll close out of my dashboard. And now here I am, I'm on the home page. So what we could do, we could go straight into the full page layout. We can come here to kits and see layouts. And you've got all these you could bring in. If you have a client where one of these would fit, the easiest thing you could possibly do is just go in and find one that works for you, like this gourmet. You've got a home page already. You've got an about page. You've got a menu, careers, and contact, all that good stuff. Uh, in this case, I want to build one out uh, personally. So we'll come in. And the first thing we want to add, let's go to kit number two. I like kit number two way more. This is the new one they just released recently. We'll add a header to this. And let's just add a very uh, clean and basic header for the site. Okay, so we have our header set up. Now under menu, I can come here and select my menu. And I should be able to, I should be able to come over here. I, I would expect to see a select menu. Let me hit, hit a quick refresh. I'll publish this real fast so I can refresh it. Okay, and so with a quick refresh, it realized that I have a menu already set up, so it brought that in automatically. Okay, let's say this is centered right now. Let's make it come over to the right-hand side. I prefer that. That looks much better. And now we have our menu. What I want to do is because the kind of global styling is still in the works, I'm going to come to the menu area here and just make that global, and I'll update this. Okay, so I've got a good-looking menu already, and I can come through and add a hero section which would be kind of the next thing you would expect to see on this type of a website. And let's just say we're going to have a website here for audio files. And with Breezy, if you're not familiar, you haven't seen some of my previous videos, all these colors are dynamic. So I can quickly change the style of everything on this website with just a couple of clicks here, going to that global styling area and adjusting what I want here. We'll add a few more blocks just to show you how quickly you can build out a nice looking website. Add a little feature section here. Maybe a gallery of some images can also toggle between uh, light and dark text. So maybe we have a, a team section here. We want to find a dark set of our team like so. And let me just get one more down here showing maybe like a pricing table of our products. And let's just 
review what we just did in a couple of clicks here, what type of website we just built out, and also how well it all kind of flows together because we just picked kind of random blocks, but they're all part of this global styling. So we should see a pretty nice flow throughout the entire page. We'll see the buttons here are white and uh, dark and light hovering. All the fonts are nicely, they, they work together because they're part of that global styling. Some images, meet the team, a feature set, etc., etc. So this is already a pretty good looking page and it's linked up here to that home button. So now we can come in and this will always work as well. Let's go back to our editor here and let's work on a different page. So I'll update this and I'll come back over to my gear icon and let's just select over to the about page. We'll edit this page now. And to give you an example of doing something a little differently, let's choose a pre-made page layout. So let's go for this business and financial as an example. They have an about, about me page already set up. So I'm gonna import this layout, but I'm not going to replace the global styling. So what this means is this entire layout set, if I wanted to look exactly like this, I would want to adopt the styling that Breezy designed for the specific layout. Instead, I want to keep that kind of pink color, all the stuff that I have set up already, but just bring in the content from this page. Okay, so I brought in my About Me page. But what you'll notice here is my header is not here yet. So I want to go ahead and pull in my header item. And I'll do that by, let's just click right here. I'd like to add up front, but we'll show you how to rearrange. Let's click here. Let's go to our global blocks. We'll add our header in. And I'm going to click to the reorganize, the, the drag to reorder. Let me just drag that up to the top like so. And now this is going to stay in sync with the rest of my website. Just to show you that a little bit real fast, let's come here. I'll hit a quick refresh just to double check all the caching is set. You'll notice here I have this kind of dummy uh, URL. All this can be set up with your own domain whenever you're ready with the project. So I'll come to my home page. Boom. You see the styling there. Go to my about me page. And without all the, the muss and fuss of WordPress, you're able to very quickly keep your content looking the right way across your entire website. Now, working inside the Breezy Builder, you don't have to just take it exactly how it is. It's very easy to move the content around. Uh, the drag and drop works really, really well. You can, if you don't like something, you can quickly remove it. The menus kind of disappear until you need them. And I like that. It's it's very kind of apple -y feeling. Like they give you what you want when you want it. They don't give you everything all at once, uh, which is really, it, it's a fine balance that they found out a way to, uh, to achieve. And I really like it. So let's go ahead and update this page here. We kind of played around with a little bit. And let's go to the last page I want to show you here because I want to show you the contact forms as well. So let's edit our contact page. And once again, let's go ahead and build out with our global header. We'll come to our global blocks and bring this guy in. And then let's also, let's just do a couple of contact forms here. So let's do something like this. Drop us a line, a very basic form. And you can style it as much as you want to. But what I want to show you here is actually right here, if you click on this button, they have recently brought into the cloud area the plug that allows you to plug this into all your different applications. So this can integrate in with MailerLite or MailChimp or ConvertKit or ActiveCampaign, the most popular email marketing platforms out there, as well as Zapier for all the ones that don't work right off the bat. You can also bring in a reCAPTCHA, which helps you prevent spam for your contact forms and things like that. And it all works really, really well. What also happens once they're done, once you've submitted the form and it's successful, you can redirect them to a specific page on your site very, very easily right here. So I also have talked to the team over at Breezy and they're working on building out full funnel functionality. So what that means is, you know, as we show here, they could take them from the contact page to maybe a one-time offer page. Or if this is a lead generation page, you could collect their email address and send them to a sales page. And not only can you kind of link in very easily that flow from page to page, you'll also be able to do A-B split testing to do conversion rate optimization to try to improve the performance of your funnel over time. This is where ClickFunnels shine. This is where Kartra shines. It's areas where in WordPress, we've kind of struggled to keep up with some of the specific funnel builders in that regard of actually measuring and improving performance. Because Breezy is going to this hosted solution, I think it's going to be a really, really powerful funnel builder in short order. I know the next couple of big updates are going to bring in those split testing functionalities and the funnel functionalities, et cetera, et cetera. 
So what I want to do now is I'm going to update this real fast. And I just want to show you some of the performance that we get from these plugins or not plugins, but from this website itself. So let me go to the homepage here. And this is a pretty, you know, decent size homepage. It's got a lot of content here, a lot of images. So if this is a WordPress website, I would expect to see, you know, 40 to 60 to 70 uh, HTTP requests, like, you know, hits to a database to load. I'm going to go to GT metrics and let's see how this particular one performs on its own. So I'll search for this site. I'll just put the URL in here and run a quick speed test. And so here we go. The site has loaded up and it's loading in two seconds. If we check here, it loads very, very quickly and it's under 50 requests with very good page speed scores. Um, so what that tells me is that this is going to be a really good solution for building fast websites that you don't need all the functionality in the world. If you have an external shopping cart like a Sam cart or a Thrive cart or any of those types of things, and you're not using WooCommerce and you don't care about having a full store on your website, this could be good enough for you uh, to run for clients, to run even just for your own funnels. This might be the best possible solution that's outside of WordPress. Now you might be wondering, well, I don't want this website, obviously, that does not look like your brand. So how do you actually hook this up with your own DNS? We'll come here back to the dashboard here. We'll go to the Breezy dashboard. And I'll show you how you can very easily set this up with your own domain name. So as I hover over the project here, you notice it has our, you know, the pre-made subdomain for us. If we click, click on that domain, it gives you the options of how you want to publish your pages. And really this should say, publish your project, not your page. So if you have your own custom domain you want to use for the project, or if your client says, Hey, I want to be called jimslandscaping.com, You can come here to the custom domain and choose that put in the domain. So jimslandscaping.com or whatever the case might be, submit that. And it will create for you very quickly, uh, the C name records that you can give to your existing uh, you know, domain name server uh, registrar and they can put that in or you can do it yourself it's, it's pretty easy once you've done it a time or two and you can put those DNS settings in and then everything will connect automatically otherwise you can create your own subdomain like Jim's landscaping dot breezy dot site and submit that and depending on your client this may be good enough where if I go here now you can see that it loads up Jim's landscaping dot breezy dot site uh, probably not the best solution if you're doing this professionally, but at least for testing around, this will be definitely good enough to show them what you can do and get to where you have the design ready before they have their actual domain purchased and ready to go. All right. So let's just talk a little bit about this whole difference in between breezy cloud and the breezy WordPress page builder. My personal preference is to keep it in WordPress. That means if you have something you need to do, WordPress probably has a solution for you. The Breezy Cloud, however, has a very specific use case. It's for simple websites. You want to be able to run quickly and you want to be able to run without a lot of upkeep and maintenance. You have to kind of ask yourself, do you want to have a lot of little websites or do you want to have a few really big WordPress websites to provide clients? If you want to go the route of kind of of turning and burning and creating really fast websites really nicely and charging not too much money for them. The breezy cloud option is going to make your life so easy because you never have to go in and double check plugin compatibility or anything like that. It's all hosted for you. It's all kind of securely managed and you just design and go the WordPress side. However, you won't be stuck in the position of saying, ah, I, I know what you want to do, but we can't do it the way that I've built your project. Like you never want to be telling your client like that. And there's other ways to get around that conversation, but ultimately, if you start out with WordPress, you can definitely do what you want to do, and you can still use the Breezy Builder in that scenario. What I'd recommend to kind of see how what Breezy does over the next 60 days or so is if you get the lifetime deal on AppSumo right now, you have that 60 day return period to decide if you want to live in WordPress and do everything through the Breezy Pro plugin, or if you want to move to the Breezy Cloud and work some of that. And the last thing I will tell you is that if you're watching this before the end of October, I am still giving away a lifetime access to, to be even more confusing, the Breezy Pro Builder. If you go to IncomeMesh.com slash giveaway, which let's do that real quick. At the time that I'm recording this, there's only a day left in the giveaway. This is probably over by now, but I do have a lifetime license to give away that includes the cloud and the WordPress page builder. So make sure you sign up on this uh, page here and I'll leave links in the description for all of this. 
Lastly, I'm John from EncoMesh.com. What do you think about Breezy? Do you like this direction of having the WordPress option and the cloud option? Would you prefer if they just kept it simple and said, hey, this is what we're doing? I don't know. I'm undecided. I like the builder. I'm not quite sure about the direction of whether cloud is right or WordPress is right or a combination of the two. I'd love to hear your comments. So leave that in the comment area below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.